From the moment she burst into the spotlight, Hollywood took notice, and so did we. Cementing her A-list status were the Pirates of the Caribbean blockbusters. Hello, puppy. Well, it seems that Teddington's greatest export has now found her calling in period pieces. Last year, Atonement co-starring James McAvoy caused a sensation, nabbing the actress both BAFTA and Golden Globe nominations. Also, TV Quick described her as good. She's laced up her corset once again to star in The Duchess, based on the life of Georgiana, the Duchess of Devonshire. And her performance is already causing quite a stir. It transformed this film to have Keira Knightley in the lead. Um, and there's no two ways about it. Welcome, your grace. You know, for this part, it, we were really looking for something very, very specific. You really have to have somebody who has got um, the intelligence and the charisma and the determination and the kind of radiance, in a way, to portray someone who, at their time, was a kind of Monroe figure. Um, and that's very, very rare, and she's got all of those things. I play Georgiana, Duchess of Devonshire, who was an incredibly glamorous, um, politically influential woman of the 18th century, um, who is trying to navigate her way through a very loveless marriage. The whole thing was quite terrifying, because it was sort of my third all-out kind of lead. Um, so so it was it, it was quite nerve-wracking. So I'm, I was sort of going and going, oh, this I, this could be I could be really bad here. So just getting through it in one piece was was completely fantastic. Modesty, you be the judge. But her co-stars had nothing but praise. Up and down, up and down. Why can't we recover like that? It's too far to fall now. She was a consummate professional, very dedicated to what she was doing, and came fully prepared and uh, and. Well, obviously, with such a difficult and complicated character as Georgina, she just went for it and was amazing to work with. She is the Duchess. She's completely mesmerising on screen. You're completely drawn to her and to, to watch her. And that's something that I just don't think you can develop or achieve. It's something that you just have. And she has it. So, will we ever see Kira stepping back into the 21st century anytime soon? I don't know, I get sent scripts and I, I do what I find interesting, you know, and, and I think I just, at the moment, I've been finding the characters themselves in the period films I've been offered have just been sort of more interesting than the ones in contemporary films.